In today's video, I created this beautiful look I actually got inspired by Ali Klein's and I will put I'll link the, the YouTube video I got inspired by down below. It's actually her full face of nothing new makeup short and I love her videos like that that she does on her channel. She has a little series but I actually use an oldie but a goodie. I use the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I haven't used this palette in forever and it was so nice to get in my comfort zone again and actually do this beautiful smoky look with actually no shimmer, no glitter. This beautiful matte smoky eye look and I love it so much and I smoked it out using a little bit of black eyeshadow and then I did I cleaned it up and I literally am loving this look this look is so pretty and I curled my hair a little bit to just look all cute for you guys and I love this makeup look so much the first time stopping by hi welcome my name is Chloe and I would love for you to join the family if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel down below to be part of the family and make sure you click the notification bell by my name to be notified of every video I upload and I upload weekly. And make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kinds of videos. I don't want to ramble on too long in this intro so without further ado let's get right into this makeup tutorial. I did curl my hair a little bit but I'm having it back for the eyeshadow and the face. I'm actually recreating Ali Glynn's makeup tutorial. It was, it was a video Ali Glynn's put up and it was the subscribers pick her full face of nothing new makeup tutorial and I got so inspired. I'll pop the picture up right here so you guys can see it. I'll link her YouTube video on this makeup tutorial down below and I got so inspired and she used the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is baby in such a long time and I can't wait to play back into this palette. I've missed this so much. I remember using this almost two years ago when I first started getting into makeup. Just look how pretty this palette is. It's so pretty. Prime my eyelids, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. primer eye primer and sheer did my brows off camera with the benefit cosmetics goof proof goof brow pencil in the shade number four love my brows vaseline on my eyebrows and my lashes every night to help them grow and they have grown so much and so fast honestly if you guys want that tip i really recommend that the shade i'm going to be going into is this shade called silk cream I'm going to be picking that up on a Morphe M441 brush. Putting that in the crease. Then when I get a little bit less product on the brush, I'll start blending in the inner corner. It is such a beautiful day out today. It's so sunny, but it's cold. I'm actually filming four videos today for you guys. I know, that's crazy. I'm filming more tomorrow. I've missed these shadows. They just blend out like a dream. They're so buttery and creamy. To recreate her look today. I got so inspired yesterday. So we got the transition shade down. So the next shade we'll be going into is this shade called Butter. Just to blend it. Bring this all over the crease. I haven't done a look like this in such a long time. You guys know how much I love my colorful looks and my warm tone looks with glitter and shimmer, but this is actually gonna be an all matte look, which I'm so excited because I haven't done a look like this in such a long time. Even though it is spring, this is just perfect for any time of year. And she, just Allie is like my favorite YouTuber ever and she just really inspired me today. I wanna do her videos that she actually created which is her full face of nothing new so that really that basically means full face of nothing new so you use products that you haven't used in a while because we I feel like we just get so caught up in all of these makeup launches like I feel like once a product launches then a few days later another one launches and it can honestly be very overwhelming so we sometimes it's just nice to go back to products that we just been loving and we just haven't been going back to. I'm getting this darker shade called Buns and I'm actually going to be using the same brush but I'm going to be putting this all over my lid. It's a beautiful brown but it has like a hint of purple which I love. I think this is kind of, I think this is why I got inspired. This smoky eye I'm loving already and it's just going to be such a beautiful matte look. 
Make sure you keep blending, make sure everything is blended and seamless together. So everything blends. I'm living. Sorry with this palette, my aunt actually got this for me for my 18th birthday. 18th or 17th? It was, it was my 18th birthday. And I was so excited. She actually gave this to me early. My dad, grandpa, and I, we all went to Ocean City, Maryland, which if you know me, you know that's my favorite place ever to go on vacation. And I was so lucky that, I was so blessed that she gave it to me to go there. And this is when I was like, I was already into makeup, but I wasn't like the greatest. Like I loved makeup so much at the time. I mean, you guys know how much I love it now. I've been loving it even more, but I was like into it, but like, I wasn't the best like I mean I was okay I just wasn't the greatest but I was just so excited for this palette I'm actually thinking about repurchasing this palette and you getting a new palette f a, a new palette for clients because I'm so excited because this is such if you really look at this palette this is so versatile and so good for everyday wear like these colors some of these colors in this palette are so good for everyday wear I'm gonna be getting the darker shade I'm gonna get the darker shade below buns and this is called chip I'm going to be getting that on a Morphe M433 brush. Mostly going to be focusing this color on the outer V and lightly together to get that smoky look we're going for. I'm mostly going to be pressing this on the outer third and then when there's less product just blend it upwards. So just lightly bringing it up in the crease. So you have to be careful with the abyss shade because it is a, a dark purple brown. Getting the shade abyss, this is the darkest color on the palette. It's more of a black. I'm going to be getting a small definer brush. This is the Morphe M506. A lightly, the outer edge. Morphe M432 brush. Define it more. Stamping it all over the lash line. Allie did use liquid liner, but natural looking and smokier, so I'm just using the abyss and just keep blending. I'm gonna be cleaning up all the fallout with a makeup wipe. And like Allie always does, you want to make sure you lightly tap out the edges so you don't look too harsh. Maybe you put a mascara on. Essence, the False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. I love this mascara. Not my new fave. Okay, so I just finished putting mascara on and actually, and I actually was going to be putting false lashes on, but they look really good for primer i'm going to be using the maybelline master prime primer race hydrate and smooth a goodie foundation today this is the tarte rainforest of the sea spf of 15 water foundation it focuses this is in the shade Fair Beige. I love the dropper on this. We're going to start with one side and I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation Brush. I'm just going to stipple that in my skin. Foundation, it just has a scent to it. It's just the sunscreen in it, which I don't mind. my hair in a little bun. I'm gonna get some on my beauty sponge just to get for more extra coverage. I put my concealer on because I am doing a review on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer and it's working so good so far. I'm so excited. Next is a bronzer. It's bronzer with the face. I'm gonna be using my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. 
is so good. I got this actually at a sale at Ulta they were having. This is the Real Techniques 201 brush. It's a powder brush, but you guys know I don't powder, so this is like perfect for bronzing. I always like to just tap on my forehead. I don't like to swipe. Bronzer is so beautiful, I missed it. I kind of just hit my nose, I don't really contour that much. I haven't been contouring actually recently. I just love the bronze look. Going to summer. Morphe brushes, blush trio, and I actually, I mix all three of them. So sexy, fearless, and witty, I just mix all of them together. So kind of just do this. Just look at that pigment. I just pat and blend back with the bronzer. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to start with the same transition that we used before, which was silk cream. So for a nice transition, I'm going to be getting the shape buns and just run it through. Now with that detailer brush, I'm going to get Abyss again. Just run it through to actually touch the lower lash line. This got smoky really fast. Just blend it all out. Okay, so I did the lower lashes really long and voluminous, kind of like like what Allie Lyons did. And she got the, the shade, she got this shade called Pukey, and she actually put it, she put it more lower just to kind of blend everything so pretty. And then I'll get a beauty, my beauty sponge, and I'll go over any of the full of the eyeshadow. I'll be setting up my makeup with the Pixi Glow Mist. I'm using a highlighter I haven't used in such a long time. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. I always like to just do the forehead a little bit. Cupid's bow. It gives it like such a nice glow from within. It's it's beautiful, but it's not like too overpowering or it's too much. It just looks beautiful. Go over it, the sponge, to not make it look too harsh. Last we have is lips, and I really wanted to, to just keep it pink nude, so I will be using my MAC Cream Sheen lipstick in Modesty. Butter gloss in creme brulee. It's a nice pink color. And this is the final look. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial that I got inspired by Allie Klein's which was, was a full face of nothing new makeup tutorial and I loved this and got inspired by Allie Klein's and if you want to see more of these videos make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kinds of videos for you to join the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Velour liquid lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. I love the smell of it. It just smells so good but just look at that applicator. It goes so nicely on the lips. You don't have to keep dipping into it again and again. You just only need one swipe, which I love about his liquid lipsticks.